The toughest part about any fairway wood shot, be it a three wood as I have here, five wood, seven wood, whatever, is that quality of contact. Now, generally speaking, because these clubs have got a bit more loft, they'll fly straighter than it would do with the driver because it generates a bit more backspin, keeps the ball on line more. It's not going to quite go as far as the driver, so again, it should be easier to hit. But the driver, we get the big tee peg, we get the big club face, so that makes the striking element of a driver easier. So a fairway wood shot is tough because of the quality of the contact is difficult to get right. So as I set up to hit this ball here, I found myself quite a nice lie. I'm looking just to bruise the turf and just sweep the ball off the top of the lie. And I can take the ball out quite cleanly from there and I'm just bruising the turf on the way through. Now, if I was to try and take that ball out completely cleanly and not hit the turf at all, I might actually feel that I was topping and thinning the ball too much. So we want to let the club hit the turf. Now, when we take a driver often, we don't let the club hit the turf, but actually here, the club should hit the turf. If I tried to take that ball out without the club hitting the turf at all, I might have only just hit the top of the golf ball. Likewise, if I was taking this shot and trying to take a divot in the same way I would take an iron, I'd probably feel like I was too aggressive hitting down and taking a, a big divot after the golf ball. And that's going to de-loft the club too much. So the fairway woods are kind of in that halfway house. They're not a driver, which is picking cleanly. They're not an iron, which is taking a divot. They're bruising the turf. And by that nature, I want you to get the feeling like the club just takes the leaves of the grass but we don't necessarily take the soil and the roots and we don't have to go and find a divot and bring it back. I want you to think about ball position being just three, two balls, two balls from the left instep, should be perfect for a three wood. Let the club just bruise the turf on the way through and that should give us the best possible chance to just nip those three woods off the surface and get the best quality fairway wood strikes.